my dear crystal lovers welcome back to the channel and if you're new here i'm am i have a company named aviuvi i'm a small business owner and i specialize in selling the most amazing and ethically sourced crystals from all over the world and i have a web shop at aviuvi.com now the web shop is pretty empty at the moment and I am working on that so I thought today is such a grey and rainy day here in Copenhagen. It's been raining for weeks and weeks and weeks and non-stop so today was the perfect day to show you guys the petrified wood that is up on the shop today. Now this petrified wood is pretty special because it is quite hard to come by so when I got the opportunity to get a piece of uh, this type of petrified wood for myself, I grabbed it. I've had it in my living room for about a month now and I love it so much. I have five pieces to show you guys today that are coming up on the shop today. So um, yeah, this is um, so exciting for me because it is from Germany, so it's pretty much locally sourced in terms of crystals, because here in Denmark we don't have that many crystals, so when I can get crystals from Germany, I'm super happy about it. The petrified wood that I'm showing you today are pre-loved pieces. They are from two different collections, so it's gonna be under the pre-loved section on the web shop. But let me tell you a little bit about this type of petrified wood. Well, first of all, I, I'm not sure that you can actually see it uh, in the camera. You know, the lighting is terrible because that's just, uh, you know, the nature of living up here in the north. It is so dark outside and the lighting is just impossible to sort out. But I'll show you some close-ups of these pieces because they are some of the most like sculptural things that you can put in your home. So I love when I can find really good second-hand crystals. I love buying from old collections. So these are from collectors where it has gone from one hand to the next to the next. And they're unique and treasured because they are such good specimens. And especially with something like petrified wood, it actually is pretty hard to find really good pieces, especially of this type of petrified wood, because it is a little bit more brittle, it's a little bit more fragile. So I was really lucky to get these pieces for the web shop. So I have two big ones right here, and then I have three um, smaller pieces. These ones. And they're actually quite heavy so I'm just gonna put them down again because this is crystals and they look exactly like wood and you can see the bark and everything and um, they have this very unique druzy, the glitter that you see on it which is a natural occurrence and I'll tell you a little bit about how this type of petrified wood came to be and how petrified wood is made in nature. But again, these are a little bit more brittle, a little bit more fragile, so you have to be really careful with these. And again, that's why they are so hard to come by and it's something that you wouldn't find in a regular web shop or a crystal web shop or even in a store because they are, you can't standardize these things. They are all special and all unique. This petrified wood is 35 million years old. So that means that 35 million years ago, there was a living tree that fell over or died and um, fell into some sediments. So this petrified wood, it just displays nature in a very unique and very beautiful way. This 35 million year old chocolate brown petrified wood was found in Germany and it displays nature in such a unique way with this beautiful druzy. Pieces like these are so hard to find, especially when it's in this good of a condition. A biological material like this that has crystallized obviously inspires 
connectivity with nature and for me it carries a very calming and grounding energy. It's ideal if you live in an apartment like we do and you want to remember to connect daily with nature through crystals and plants. So that's the, the, the special thing about this is of course that it is a plant that has turned into a crystal. So you get both sides of nature in that way. And I think that is so magical. We live on the fourth floor here in an apartment in Copenhagen. And uh, we want to connect with nature every single day. But it is different living here than it is, for example, when we're in the plant house and the nature is just right outside the door. So it's a very good reminder to have in your space, in my experience, to have something like this, this where you have a combination of the biological material of the plant and also the crystal uh, world. It's just such a wonder of nature and, you know, I have had pieces like this before. Last year I had a, one big piece and some smaller pieces and customers are just in awe of this process. And I think that is just the essence of collecting crystals, of celebrating nature. And it's very obvious with these things because you don't have to be into crystals to appreciate pieces like this. They're beautiful sculptures, first of all, um, so it's something that you want to have in your home and that you want to treasure. But it's also just a wonder of nature to see something that is that old, something that displays an old tree that is actually 35 million years old, right? Because I don't know what it is, it's just a something very magical and very and physical and tangible about that. So the response is always really, really positive with petrified wood like these, especially when you can see the bark and you can see all of the ores and veins in the wood. And I love that and I love the rawness of it. If you've been following me, you know that I 100% prefer raw crystals and that also that I love natural materials and we have natural materials everywhere in our home. So this is such a me type of crystal. And morphing from one material to another is such a metaphor for this spiritual evolution of our time. It's a reminder that not everything in our world is about the cycle of death and rebirth and sometimes a transformation takes place as it does with petrified wood. What has happened here is that instead of the wood decaying, it was buried in sediments that prevented oxygen and organisms from breaking it down like a piece of wood normally would. And over millions of years, silica-rich water has deposited minerals and in this case quartz and over time replaced all of the biological material. So I've had my piece for a month now and first of all, it looks stunning and so beautiful and has such a presence in my space. But again, we live up here on the, on the fourth floor, or you would say on the fifth floor if you live in the US. And we are, it's a, it's a I guess it's a, a thing that we're pretty conscious of that we have to actively connect with nature throughout the day because we definitely see the health benefits of doing that. We don't have a garden, we don't have the woods right outside our house, we don't have the beach. So we want to surround ourselves with these beautiful natural materials. What I find is so special about petrified wood and this um, German petrified wood is how calming and grounding it also makes the space. And I'm only talking from my own personal experience when it comes to crystals, when we get into the more metaphysical things, because I can only talk from my own personal experience. And um, again, I've had this for about a month in my space, and I have found that it is so grounding and so calming 
and it is this presence that is just always reminding me to stay connected with nature. And I think that crystals can have that function in a space too. You don't necessarily have to carry around a crystal and you wouldn't be able to with these because they're extremely heavy too. They can just be these reminders in your daily space of what your intentions are. And it's so beautiful to see this life force and ancient wisdom that is embedded into an object like this. And I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm actually uh, formally educated as a designer. And I love design, I love fashion, I love interior. But um, when I got into crystals, it was kind of um, a journey for me. And I have made several videos about how I got into crystals. But the one thing that is so amazing to me is that these are not man-made objects. These are, this is natural design. This is how nature created it. And when you get into crystals and you see crystals and you see pieces like this, you know as a designer that there is no way in your lifetime or in human lifetime that you'd ever be able to create something like this. You would never be able to place the molecules the way that nature did in this process. And that to me is very um, humbling in a very good way because uh, a lot of times we think that we are in charge of everything, that humans are the wheels that makes everything go around and obviously we're not. And a very good reminder of that is of course a piece like this one. So I guess you can call it a, a type of guidance from nature. I feel that nature is constantly guiding us in on our path if we choose to pay attention to it. And there's a, a real beauty to petrified wood like this. And it's also the slowness and the process, because again, this is millions of years old and the process has been so long, long before humans existed here. And um, it's nice to sometimes tap into that slowness of the process. Also the abundance of nature and in how many ways that nature expresses itself. If you ever feel like abundance is something that you want to tap more into, just start collecting crystals and uh, get into nature because you will see abundance all around you and you will see that it is completely independent of what we do as human beings in our um, individual lifespan or just in all of humanity. It's very, very inspiring and um, for me at least, and if you want to call upon abundance into your life um, and self-care and just some perspective on your own existence, crystals are amazing for that purpose. So I want you guys to try it out for yourself because uh, I have been so happy with my petrified wood. Very impressed and way more appreciative of it than I thought I would be. There's something else that I want to talk to you guys about today. In these uh, videos, of course, I want to show you guys lots of crystals because it is all about crystals. I also want to talk to you about, um, you know, a more spiritual lifestyle. My approach to spirituality is pretty practical, I think. It's about everyday spirituality. It's not about big elaborate ceremonies or events, it's about what can you actually do in your everyday life to connect and to improve, to listen to your guidance. And uh, I've been on a bit of a journey here in the last year. Maybe you've seen the video from a year ago where I, I think it was the video where we go to Glyptotheke, this museum, and we stop by Aesop. 
Aesop is a skincare uh, brand, if you don't know what it is. And uh, it has been around for a really long time. It's a luxury skincare brand. And the reason why I made that video was because at the beginning of the year, I had made a decision that I wanted to take better care of myself. The word pampering, I just don't like that word. I'm not into, uh, I don't know how to explain it, but um, I don't enjoy going to, let's say, the hairdresser or getting my nails done or even getting a massage. I am not that interested in it. I'm more interested in crystals and history and, um, you know, science, uh, spirituality, all of those things. And I realized that after 2020 and 2021, I really needed some luxury in my life, some everyday luxury. And I was trying to figure out kind of a way to, I don't know if I want to say justify it to myself, but it's just, I just don't really enjoy the pampering. But I wanted to make an effort because I knew that it was something that would improve my everyday life, that I treated myself to more of these things, even though it might not feel like a treat, you know, to take care of your skin or whatever. I do want to say though that in our household we do live a very healthy life. We eat very clean, we eat vegetarian and we take care of ourselves in that way. Take our vitamins, you know, just general health. But when it comes to the more, I guess, um, yeah, I don't know, I want to say the right words, but it's because in my head there's a lot of um, negative con connotation when it comes to self-care. I guess I feel like it, it's a little bit more of a vanity thing than a health thing. But I wanted to dive into it because it was um, something that I personally just didn't understand. I like to put makeup on because it's a little bit creative, but you know, Getting your nails done and uh, taking care of your skin and removing your makeup or all of these things uh, was such a small part of my life. And I realized in 2020 and 2021 that maybe it would be good for me to put these little treats into my everyday life because it was rough for me those years and I, I bet it was rough for you guys too. The way that I usually treated myself to something really great back in the days was to go travel, for example, and go to restaurants and museums. Now we've been to quite a lot of museums this year and that was uh, something that I absolutely intended to do in 2021 too. Okay, so circling back to, to the pampering, you can see I'm totally digressing because I don't wanna, I feel uncomfortable talking about it. But I do have a recommendation for you guys because in my journey of taking care of myself, of bringing in everyday luxury, I did find some really, really good products. And I tried out a lot. Now, I want my products to be super clean and I want to be vegan and organic. So I, oftentimes what I used to do was just to to just buy whatever they had in the health food store. I do buy Aesop products and I love Aesop products. They are on the pricier side, but I actually think that they're really good solid products that I want that someone like me actually wants to use every single day. There's something about the scents with Aesop that is kind of a hit and miss. Uh, sometimes it has a tendency to smell a little bit like um, Jägermeister because there's so many herbs in it so it's a bit of a hit and miss but I, I have to say I do love most of their products but I have another one that I actually think might be better and it's a Danish uh, brand that I wanted to show you guys and I wanted to share it with you because when I find something that I enjoy I, I just want to share it with you guys because again, it took me about a year to actually 
get to hear. So maybe you know this brand, maybe you don't know this brand, but let me just take you into the living room and I will show you. Okay, so this is the brand that I'm talking about. And uh, <laughs> why I wanted to share this with you guys is because if you're someone like me who doesn't really, who's not really into this stuff, maybe you'll get the benefits out of these uh, things too, because what I found was so impressive by, and I have a lot of this stuff now, what I felt was so impressive about e-cooking was that it actually did what it said on the label that it would do. I tried very expensive products. I tried very eco-friendly products. I did it all. And um, this is what I actually landed on. So I wouldn't say that e-cooking is like the most affordable option, but it's not totally expensive. It's cheaper than ASAP. And I would say the quality is just as good. I actually quite like the branding too, so I enjoy having it in my cabinets too. That's like another thing, but maybe it's just because I'm a designer and I love for things to look good for me to actually use it and enjoy it. And um, it does take a little bit more convincing for me to get into, you know, cleaning my skin or doing a body scrub or using the serum or whatever. So it has to look pretty good for me to um, be attracted to it, I guess. I'm not going to go too much into the different products because I don't want this channel to be uh, like a product video. And this is, of course, in no way sponsored. I just wanted to conclude on that video that I did a year ago about this self-care journey that I've been on. I still don't like to go to the hairdress. I still, I'm not gonna get my nails done. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know. I don't prioritize those things and I don't want to prioritize those things. And when you make YouTube videos, um, you get really conscious about these things and I, I don't want to do that and I don't want to, I, I am not that person. So I don't know what it is about self-care that just makes me cringe so much. Because I do take care of myself, I, I eat healthy and I sleep well and I make sure to get exercise and get fresh air and all of those things. So it's not that health is an issue for me, it's more when it goes over to vanity or it kind of starts to smell like vanity. Um, I'm just not that into it. So I'm pretty low maintenance and I feel like I just don't get the same satisfaction as other people do when they get a massage or go to the hairdresser. I enjoy other things much more. And what's so weird about it is that I, I never really thought about it until I started making videos because um, you get really self-conscious about uh, being on, on camera and um, you know every single video that I've ever made there's always been like my nails have looked ridiculous or I've had my hair stinging out or my makeup is off and uh, that's just I mean if I was gonna make everything perfect, I would never release a single video, right? And it's something that I've personally just had to overcome in, in these years that I've made videos or in this year that I've made videos. So I wanted to take you guys a little bit along on that journey. Also, if you have a small business and you want to do this kind of thing, if you want to you know, make videos or be more like active on social media and you feel like it's a little bit cringe for you. Um, this is just like part of it that, or at least it, it has been for me just, uh, yeah, this pressure that there is especially on women to look a certain way or to be interested in certain things. What I love about this brand is that it is um, vegan, it's organic, it doesn't have a lot of like hard artificial scents, so you can definitely use it whether you are 
woman or a man or anything in between. It is uh, very gender neutral in my opinion. Okay, this might be TMI, but I love walking around with my bare feet and I do it all year round, but especially in the summer, of course. And um, I tried out their foot mask. They have like this overnight foot mask that you put on at night and uh, you just leave it all night long. And it was just wonderful. It worked perfectly. And not that I had any like problems and I don't really have skin problems, but I just really like for products to actually work. And this year I tried different things like under eye, and, I don't know, eye serums, and they just did the complete opposite of what they said they would do. And with every single thing that I've tried with this brand e-cooking, it has just done what it said it would do. And I just wanted to share that with you guys if you haven't seen this brand because I don't see it a lot out on social media and on YouTube. Maybe it's because it's Danish, maybe it's just because it hasn't, you know, gone over the, uh, the edge yet. But uh, this is definitely a recommendation from me. <laughs> to see like what I mean, it's so awkward for me to talk about these things. It's so, I'm totally out of my comfort zone when I talk about beauty and pampering and products. Like, yeah, I'm just out of my league, but um, and this was the conclusion. And I think like with a combination of this brand and ASAP, I think I'm just settled in and good to go. So the last thing that I want to tell you is that on February 25th and 26th, I will be attending Finders Keepers. If you don't know what Finders Keepers is, it is a, like a big event here in Copenhagen. Sometimes it's in other locations, but this one is in Copenhagen. It's an amazing event and I've attended this and both as a guest and with a shop many, many times and it never fails to impress me. I love going there and selling crystals because it's a completely different segment than who would usually buy crystals. It's very design oriented. It's very much about high quality and sustainability and all of those things that I personally really, really love. And um, it's so funny to sell crystals at a venue like that because I love having the crystals in spaces where you wouldn't usually see them. I know a lot of my customers, they've had the same connotations about crystals that I've had in the past, that it was for another type of fur uh, people, that it was low quality and it was, you had to be very spiritual in a very specific way to work with crystals. So uh, I love having all of these conversations with you guys when you attend Finders Keepers, if some of you guys are watching this video. And I will, as much as I can, I will always make sure to be at Finders Keepers because, you know, the quality and the ethics are just unlike anything else. And I will leave a link for that event in the description below and also for e-cooking. I think they also have a YouTube channel, so I will leave a link for that too in the description. And make sure to go and check out the Petrified Wood on the webshop because, I mean, it's like, I feel like it's like a one-of-a-kind opportunity to get your hands on this type of crystal because it is so rare and it's so rare that I, I actually come upon it. And um, it's amazing, it's beautiful. Yeah, I couldn't recommend it anymore. I don't know if you can see it, but I have one. Mine is right here in the background. And I love it. <laughs> Thank you, you guys, so much for watching this video and all of my videos. And if you enjoyed this one and you would like more of this type of information, please make sure to like and share and subscribe. It helps me to know what you guys want me to talk about. 
but it also helps others to find this content if that is what they're looking for. And I wish you the most amazing day with so much love to you and to yours. Thank you.